Hello grade 10 and welcome back to another functions lesson with me. Today we're going to be looking at drawing or sketching the graph that you see on the screen, the quadratic function or the parabola basically. Let's have a look. Remember, you immediately know that you're dealing with a parabola when you see x squared. We know that our graph is going to be a u shape. Let's have a look at the steps that we're going to follow when drawing or sketching a parabola. To make it easier for you, I've broken it down into three basic steps. Step number one is going to be looking at the equation that they give you, the y equals equation, as you can see up here, and looking at the a value, which is the coefficient of x squared, the number and the sign in front of x squared. And you need to look at that a value and decide on the shape of the graph. Now remember, what I mean by shape of the graph is, first of all, is the graph going to be a happy graph, so smiley face. If it is a happy face graph, our A is going to be a positive number, bigger than zero. Then our graph is going to look like this on the left. If we've got a sad graph, so a frown pointing downwards like that, we know that A is going to be negative or less than zero. That's all you need to look at when it comes to shape of graph, so you know which way to draw your graph after you have your X and your Y intercepts. Then, Talking about intercepts, these are very, very important when sketching any graph, and you should know that based off of the linear graph or the straight line graph that you have already covered in grade 9 and in grade 10 before the parabola. So remember, y-intercept versus x-intercept. y-intercept is where my graph cuts the y-axis, x-intercept, or in this case, potentially x-intercepts, is where my graph cuts the x-axis. Now, it's easy to remember, if you want to find the y-intercept, we make x0. If you want to find the x-intercept or intercepts, you make y0. So it's always the opposite. The nice thing about the y-intercept is that we can also almost always read it off there. This value over there. Okay, let's take a look. Let's do some examples. Right, in this graph, remember, we're going to follow our steps. So step one is deciding if it's a happy graph or a sad graph. And as you can see, this is a positive value here. So like we said, this graph is going to be a happy graph. It's going to point upwards like that. Step two, we're going to find our y-intercepts. To find our y-intercept, we make x equal to zero. So to find our y-intercepts, we're going to make x equal zero. If we make x equal zero, we're going to go y equals zero squared plus six. And we're going to get y is equal to 6. Right? That means our coordinates is if x is 0, we made x 0, y is 6. And we know that our graph is going to cut over there. It's a very small graph, but that is where x is 0 and y is 6. Like I said, we could have read it off the graph over there. Just be careful, make sure your graph is in standard form. Then if you think about it, we know our graph is going to be a smiley happy graph like that. That is our y-intercept, which means our graph is going to look like this. It is not actually going to have any x-intercepts. And if you don't believe me, sub to find the x-intercept, make y zero, try it, and you'll see that we're not going to get any, any x-intercepts because our graph is a smiley graph. It's going upwards like that. And our y-intercept we've got over there. So that's how our graph looks. This is the graph y equals x squared plus 6. Right, let's move on to our next graph. Let's just write that equation over there. Ah, now this one is an interesting one. Let's see how we do this. So first of all, we can look at the shape of the graph. This is a positive a value over here. So my graph again is going to be a happy graph. Then to find the y-intercept, we make x zero. So to find the y-intercept, we make x equal to zero. Right, so I've done that for us. To find the y-intercept where the graph cuts the y-axis, I make x zero. So put zero in the place of x. You see we get negative nine, which I could have just read off the graph over there. We know that my y-intercept is going to be over there. Let's just label that coordinate zero and negative nine. Right, zero and negative nine. Now, to find our x-intercepts, 
Remember, our graph is going to be a smiley graph. So we know that our graph is going to cut through the axis somehow, somewhere. We need to find exactly where. So to do this, to find the x-intercepts, we make y zero. So let's, in the place of y, put zero. Then we've got x squared minus nine. You should be used to solving these types of equations. We've got an equation equal to zero. We've got two terms over here. We know we need to factorize this side over here. I'm going to do difference of two squares. This is gonna be x plus three. This is going to be x minus three equal to zero. We therefore know that each of these pieces, x plus three, can equal zero, x minus three can equal zero, therefore x is plus three or minus three. You can write it as plus minus three as well. That means that my two x intercepts would be three and zero and negative three and zero. So just to recap, to find the x-intercept, you make y zero. You should be familiar with solving that type of an equation. Okay, x squared minus nine equals zero quadratic equation. Going to factorize x plus three can equal zero. So therefore, x is negative three. X minus three can equal zero. So therefore, x is positive three. And if I plot those two coordinates over there, this one is three and zero. This one is negative three and zero. And if I have to join the dots, remember it's gonna be a smiley face, we already established that over there. And now just excuse the way that I'm gonna join the dots, it's very difficult for me to draw on this, but you're gonna do it much better than I can. And you get a smiley face, there we go. So there's my function, that is the function y equals x squared minus nine. If we look at this graph, we can see that our a value is negative two, which means step one, determine the shape of the graph. We're going to have a graph that looks like that, a sad face graph, right? Step two is determine the y-intercept. To get the y-intercept, we know we can make x equal to zero. And already I can see if I sub zero in the place of x, negative two multiplied by zero squared is zero plus two. So my y-intercept is going to be two. And we know that because we can read that off the graph. So you can see in this case, I'm just plotting this graph very basic over here. My y-intercept will be over there. That is zero and two. Fantastic. Moving on, finding the x-intercept. Now this one is always more tricky. To find the x-intercept or the x-intercepts, we know this is going to be a sad graph, so we can imagine that it's going to bend downwards like that. I'm going to have two x-intercepts. I need to make y equal to zero. Now just look what happens when I make y equal to zero. I've got a negative 2x squared plus 2. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this stuff over. So negative 2x squared, I'm going to make it positive 2x squared. This positive two, I'm gonna take over and make it negative two. You're going to see why I'm doing this now. That's all equal to zero. I need to factorize. And when my coefficient here is negative, it does present a little bit of a problem, especially if I want to factorize this fully and find both of my x-intercepts. So now when I factorize, we know that we need to first take out a highest common factor. So if we look at my two terms, my highest common factor is two. I'm left with x squared minus one equals zero. I have not factorized fully. So what I need to do is I need to do my difference of two squares. We can see x squared minus one. So we've got x minus one and x plus one equals zero. We've got our quadratic equation there. So we've got two x minus one, x plus one. We know that therefore x minus one can equal zero or x plus one can equal zero. Therefore, my two solutions are x can be positive one or x can be negative one. So x can be positive one, that's over there. This is one and zero, or x can be negative one, that's over there, negative one and zero. We're always just gonna label our x and y intercepts, then we join up our points like that, and there we go. That is our graph of y equals negative 2x squared plus 2. Does it make sense? Yes, it does, because my a value is negative. My graph is a sad face. Our y-intercept is plus 2. And there we've got our two x-intercepts. Let's do the last one. Now, if you look at this one, there should be something 
inside your head screaming at you saying no you absolutely cannot go ahead and draw this i know some people get excited and they think oh my goodness that must be the y intercept because it's it's over there it's the constant term but no look here 2y this is not in its standard form remember we need y equals ax squared plus q the y needs to be the subject of the formula the y needs to be alone so in order to get the y alone we need to divide it by 2 Okay, 2y divided by 2 is y. Because I'm dividing that by 2, I need to divide both of these terms by 2. So 4x squared divided by 2 would be 2x squared. Negative 16 divided by 2 would be negative 8. Now that I've done that, I can go ahead and I can plot my graph. So essentially, we're going to ignore this version of the function. We've got it in its standard form. Now we can see that my y-intercept, if I make x equals 0, so if I make x, if I sub 0 in the place over there, we're going to get negative 8. We can read that off the graph, so 0 and negative 8. That's my y-intercept, so let's make that over there. That is 0 and negative 8. Then to find my x-intercept, remember, if you're looking for your x-intercepts, you make y equal to 0. So let's do it. If I make my y 0, then I've got 2x squared minus 8. And then we know we've got an equation, x squared in the equation equal to 0. We know we need to factorize. So I'm going to take out a 2. I'm left with x squared minus 4. That is not factorized fully. I know that I can do difference of two squares. You can see here, I have two terms, minus in between, square and a um, square number. So we go x plus 2 x minus 2. Now it's factorized fully and we can see x plus 2 can equal 0. That is how I can make this equation a true equation. So therefore x can equal negative 2 or if I sub a positive 2 over there, if x is positive 2 then my equation is also a true equation. So x has two solutions. It's x squared. That makes sense. We're going to have two x-intercepts x being positive 2, so that one over there, that is 2 and 0, or x can be negative 2. Negative 2, 0. Let's join up our dots very nice and carefully. We can see that it is a happy graph, which actually I forgot to speak about in the beginning. Our a value over here is positive, so we can see that it is a smiley, happy graph. Right. In the next video, we're going to learn how to find the equation of a parabola. So that's when I give you the picture of the graph. I give you the sketch. I give you the drawing and you have to determine the equation. Please comment down below what you'd like to see next. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up for me and subscribe for more maths and physical sciences videos.